Those who carried out this attack, as well as anyone who wishes America harm, know this. We will not forgive. We will not forget. We will hunt you down and make you pay. Biden vows revenge for Kabul twin blasts. Deadliest day for U.S. forces in a decade. 13 U.S. troops and 90 civilians killed in the suicide attack. Two suicide bombers targeted Kabul airport gate. ISIS-K claims responsibility for the attack. 13 U.S. troops and at least 90 civilians were killed after two suicide bombers and a gunman attacked crowds of Afghans flocking to Kabul airport. The attacker stuck one of the main entrances to Kabul airport just hours after intelligence agencies warned of an imminent threat. Another suicide attack happened near the Baron Huttle near the British Embassy. These American service members who gave their lives, it's an overused word, but it's totally appropriate here, were heroes. Heroes who have been engaged in a dangerous, selfless mission to save the lives of others. They're a part of an airlift, an evacuation effort unlike any scene in history. The attack is the deadliest for U.S. forces in Afghanistan, killing 13 troops in a single incident. This is the first time U.S. troops were killed in Afghanistan since the U.S. Taliban peace deal in February 2020. U.S. and other Western officials blamed the Afghan branch of Islamic State and voiced concern over fresh attacks at the airport. The Islamic State of Khorasan province claimed responsibility for the attack. The U.S. military officials said that they are cooperating with the Taliban to stall any attacks and widen the security near the Kabul airport. However, the day after the blast, the crowds continued to swell at Kabul airport. Taliban condemned the attack, calling it an act of terrorism and added the presence of foreign forces in the country was to blame. The attack comes as countries rush to evacuate their citizens from Afghanistan. We will not be deterred by terrorists. We will not let them stop our mission. We will continue the evacuation. I've also ordered my commanders to develop operational plans to strike ISIS-K assets, leadership, and facilities. We will respond with force and precision at our time, at the place we choose, in the moment of our choosing. The U.S. military officials also confirmed that it will continue the mission to evacuate Americans from Afghanistan. Intelligence agencies have warned of more threats to the evacuation process.